Now, I know that you're all law-abiding citizens who would never get yourselves in a situation where you might end up in jail. Well, you would hope not, but then again, not everyone in jail is guilty, are they? So here's a heads up, whatever sort of pickle you find yourself in, try really, really hard not to wind up in one of these godforsaken places. From a prison whose name is synonymous with torture, to another where even eye contact is banned, here are the 20 worst prisons in history. Number 20. Abu Ghraib Prison, Iraq Despite every euphemism under the sun being used in reference to Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq, it's impossible to ignore the fact that this place was using torture plain and simple. It doesn't matter how you try to twiddle the words around and say things like enhanced interrogation techniques, this was simply another way of saying torture and the images and stories that came out of this place back that up. Located in the center of the war zone during the Iraq war, Abu Ghraib was where the captured prisoners were brought straight from the battlefield into the hands of those that had been on the receiving end of their attacks just beforehand. This is not usually considered the best way to do war business and really does leave a whole lot of space for abuse and power and misconduct to take place, and it did. Abu Ghraib is notorious for using not only the much debated, but still considered legal by the US government techniques of sleep deprivation and stress positions. This place was also using stuff like humiliation and emotional and mental abuse. These human rights abuses put Abu Ghraib in the running to be named the most inhumane prison in the world. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Butraka Prison, Russia. This is one of the most infamous prisons in Russia, which says something, because Russian prisons are notoriously hideous by all accounts. Located in the center of Moscow, this prison has been one of the worst places to get locked up and has some of the harshest conditions known for human rights violations that abound. This prison has a real problem with overcrowding, and at some points in its past, this place has had 100 prisoners in cells which are meant to house only 10. There are enormous problems with drugs and diseases. And it's become such an issue that the warden has taken to sorting out the cell membership based on specific diseases. Those with HIV in one, tuberculosis in another, and so on. Needles are shared, and so is the sickness. And this all sounds utterly hideous, to be honest, but they're also keen to boast that they do at least have television. Number 18. Camp 1391, Israel. Israel's not-so-secret prison is a notoriously awful place which routinely violates all the international human rights protections. Of course, Camp 1391 does not officially exist, but if you were committing atrocities on the regular, you would likely pretend they didn't exist as well. There's no information about who's being held in the facility, why they are there, and the Israeli government denies the fact that it even is in existence today. Those who find themselves in this prison have no idea where they are, and nobody's ever going to tell them. Detainees in the so-called Israeli Guantanamo are blindfolded and kept in dark cells. This kind of sensory deprivation is a form of torture which is against human rights. Brutal interrogation procedures are also the norm, and there's absolutely no visitors allowed at all. Not even the Red Cross, and that seems completely above board now, doesn't it? You know, nothing to see here. Number 17. Kamidi Maximum Security Prison, Kenya this maximum security prison is located in Nairobi County, in an area of agricultural land far from very much else at all. This remote location makes the whole prison experience that much more tough, as if it wasn't already awful anyways. There's no reliable water supply, and that means that prisoners are required to spend all day hauling water just to keep things barely functioning. Beyond the lack of this essential element, conditions in the prison are considered to be poor, although the good news is that they're not as 
as bad as they used to be. Well, huzzah! Prior to 2002, the prisons in Kenya were notoriously amongst the worst on the planet, but the change of government back then has made a few positive differences to the life expectancy and general treatment of its inmates. Number 16. Attica Correctional Facility, New York Attica Correctional Facility in New York is best known for a massive and deadly riot that took place there all the way back in 1971. Prisoners decided to express their political rights to seek better living conditions and demanded that they be treated like men and not beasts. Fair enough, I say. How about you? Should prison be a dehumanizing experience, or do all people deserve a modicum of dignity? What ensued was a bloodbath. The uprising was quelled not with negotiations, but with gun fire. 33 inmates were killed and 10 correctional officers. All but one guard and three inmates were killed by law enforcement. It was a mess, but it did ultimately lead to some negotiations, and the New York Corrections Department made some changes to the prisons to reduce tension and make a few marginal improvements to the existence of prisoners in their facilities. Number 15. San Quentin State Prison, USA one of the more famous prisons in the United States, San Quentin is a massive institution located close to San Francisco in California. This notorious place of incarceration houses serial killers, drug cartel bosses, and gang leaders. It's notorious because of its inhabitants. This place is where they send the absolute worst of all the criminals in the country. It's also the only prison facility in California which performs executions, so all in all, it's a rather unsavory place. Amongst the long list of the incarcerated San Quentin has included in its numbers the likes of Charles Manson, who is probably one of the most infamous of all inmates, Richard Ramirez, who is known as the Night Stalker, and terrorized California in the 1980s. He was in prison there for 30 years and died of natural causes. Sirhan Sirhan, who assassinated Robert Kennedy in 1968, as well as many, many more of the worst that society has ever mustered. One more over there. One more chair? Yeah. We got tables for this. Given the kind of characters who live here, it should come as no surprise that this is an incredibly violent place and there are regular attacks on officers and inmates. And although this is officially the death row prison for California, there have been no executions at San Quentin since 2006, and in 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom put a moratorium on the death penalty in the state of California, effectively halting all planned and future executions. Number 14. Dayar Bakur Prison, Turkey the prisons in Turkey have come under fire for their terrible conditions and allegations of torture. This particular prison has been the subject of an investigation following allegations made by an inmate in which he stated that he had been tortured by guards for writing a note to another prisoner. The guards at the prison found out about the note and removed this prisoner from the dormitory room, taking him to another room which is known by the name The Aquarium. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be as easy to observe the goings-on in in this particular aquarium, as the name might imply. In fact, although there's a surveillance camera in the room, its view is somewhat obstructed by a poster or a banner of some kind, thus allowing some unsavory activities for which it seems the prison guards use that space. The prisoner in question was taken to the aquarium and beaten severely for almost three quarters of an hour. During this beating, the guards are believed to have tortured him by beating the soles of his feet with a baton. He sustained terrible injuries and told his family about what had happened. This event launched a legal investigation, and the prison appears to have tried to cover up the attack, even having the prison doctor write a report which states that there was no beating. If torture or other ill treatment takes place in prison, this contravenes international human rights laws and a lot of domestic laws of the country as well. Although some countries seem to play a little fast and loose with such things, this is the strictest prison in the world. Inmates aren't even allowed to dream. Number 13. Alcatraz the formidable looming presence of Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary in the Bay of San Francisco is embedded in legends and history of the United States. This prison has been in more movies than any other and has inspired more elaborate escape attempts than most. Alcatraz was a maximum security prison on Alcatraz Island. It was notoriously tough and famously hard to escape from, as prisons probably should be. That stretch of water was very dangerous, and some of those that did manage to get that far drowned before they reached the mainland. 
Others were shot and killed during their escape, and many more were then caught. As well as all that other stuff, this prison was also the temporary home of some of the 20th century's naughtier individuals, the most famous being Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, and the Birdman of Alcatraz, Robert Stroud. Number 12. Stanley Prison in Hong Kong Built in 1937, Stanley Prison in Hong Kong is the oldest in service, and that's usually not a ringing endorsement of the standards of the facilities that are available inside. The vast prison complex is almost entirely surrounded by water, so escape from there is virtually impossible. It is a high-security penitentiary which houses the most dangerous and notorious of Hong Kong's criminal underclass, from those who take advantage of women and murderers to gang members and drug dealers. This prison has all the worst offenders in the area. It is relatively strict, but there aren't the same sorts of horror stories as some of the other places that we've seen, nor is the place out of control. There are occasional scuffles and rarely full-on fights that will break out between rival gangs inside, but otherwise the place is simply what you might imagine a maximum security prison facility in Hong Kong to be. Not a fun place to live. Number 11. La Sante, France La Sante Prison is one of the most infamous in all of France. It has wings for VIPs and a high security area as well. Oh, but its location? Well, it's right in the center of Paris. The prison has been around in one form or another on this same site for several centuries, and it's had a reputation for poor conditions at various points in history, and has also turned up in stories over the years, perhaps most notably in Maurice LeBlanc's Lupin stories. If a famous person or personality is sent to jail in France, then likely as not they'll be sent to the VIP wing of this prison. This is a so-called special area, which keeps these inmates separate from the rest of the riffraff. The other thing for which this prison was known was holding executions in its yard. The last one was by guillotine in 1972, and after this, the death penalty was eventually abolished and no more heads rolled in the streets of Paris. The prison did continue on, though, and conditions seemed to get even worse and worse for a while, until eventually in the year 2000, the head physician at the prison wrote a report which denounced the poor quality and prompted a government intervention. The whole place was then closed for renovation in 2014. Number 10. Piatek Island Prison, Russia Located in the most godforsaken corner of Russia, on an island in the middle of a lake in the middle of a forest halfway between the Arctic Circle and Moscow, this island prison is a place that almost nobody ever leaves alive. The former 16th century Orthodox monastery is wrapped with coils of barbed wire and is the current home of some of 200 of Russia's most dangerous prisoners. Most of these inmates are murderers, and many of them have committed multiple homicides. In the old days of Soviet rule, they would have faced execution by firing squad, but in today's Russia, there's a moratorium on the death penalty, which is surprising. So there they sit, probably till the end of their days, in the middle of a monastery, in the middle of a lake, in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere. However, there's no way that this life is as idyllic as it might sound. Inmates are only permitted to leave their cells for one hour a day to walk around the windowless hallways, and if they disobey any rules that are in place, solitary confinement goes for them for six months. The sheer hopelessness of the place has driven many an inmate insane, and no one has ever escaped. Number 9. La Sabaneta, Venezuela now, it's probably quite obvious, but if you have a prison system with a space for 15,000 inmates, but you have more than 25,000 stuffed into that space, then things are going to be a little uncomfortable to say the least. In fact, the whole penal system in Venezuela was shot to pieces, but one prison stood out for being the absolute worst. Not only was it completely overpopulated, but this prison in Venezuela was riddled with corruption, totally understaffed, and plagued with violence. I mean, this is hardly surprising. Prison 
is no picnic, but the kind of violence in this penitentiary was intense. The prison was run by the gangs, and when a jail is being presided over by the prisoners themselves, you know, something has gone a little bit wrong. In this instance, we're not talking about them having a democratic system whereby they could have an element of input into their lives. No, the most dangerous and violent offenders ran the whole show as if it were simply another criminal operation. Because it was. There were gunfights, riots, fires, and all the day-to-day -day violence that you would expect when you cram thousands of rival criminal gangs into a very confined space. There were a few extra notorious occasions when the violence was especially overblown. One one such event was a gunfight in 1994 that left 108 prisoners dead. And the following year, a total of 196 inmates were killed and 624 were wounded because of prison violence. Rather unsurprisingly though, this particular institution was closed down in recent years. Number 8. Gitarama Central Prison, Rwanda if overcrowding seemed to be an issue in some of the dreadful prisons that we've looked at already, then this place is going to shock the heck out of you. Built to house a maximum of 600 inmates, this prison in Rwanda contains between six and 7,000 prisoners. There is such a shortage of space, and many inmates spend a good deal of their time standing. There's simply no other option. Rumors abound about the awful conditions inside of the prison. There's even one such story that the prisoners are so desperate that they've been known to eat the bodies of those who have died in fights. But this is not substantiated, so make of that what you will. What is no doubt a reality, however, is that the day-to-day -day existence of these inmates is more or less impossible. Many are suffering from illnesses and medical conditions which are left untreated, and they're subject to terrible abuse, violence, and neglect. This facility is clearly in no way working under the principle of rehabilitation. It's just a breeding ground for more sickness and more crime. Number 7. Bang Quang Central Prison, Thailand Another contender for the world's worst prison is this one, Bang Quang Central Prison in Thailand. This place is notorious for its awful conditions which resulted in the death or even insanity of the majority of its prisoners. Infamous as one of the harshest prisons in the world, Bang Quang is located on the outskirts of Bangkok and was constructed between 1927 and 1931. It was designed to house the very worst offenders who were sentenced to life or were awaiting execution until as recently as 2000. 2013, inmates spent the first three months of their stay chained in leg irons. Those facing a death sentence would spend their entire stay in leg irons before facing a firing squad or death by lethal injection. The system within the prison itself relies on the prisoner's ability to pay for such luxuries as more than one meal a day. In fact, this hierarchy allowed wealthy inmates to literally hire servants within the prison who could then themselves earn money to buy more food. This place has made its way into the media through depictions of fictional prisons which were based on Bang Quang. Many Western tourists who find themselves on the wrong side of the law have also discovered firsthand just what the conditions are like in this notorious place. But if they insist on doing crimes, then what should they expect? Number 6. Camp 22, North Korea while it's difficult to really know what goes on inside the borders of North Korea, this most secretive and mysterious country is known to have some serious issues with human rights abuses. That's one of the things with remaining so closed off and outside of the international community. You kind of have no regard for the rules of those other places. So North Korea is known to have an aggressive view on the outside world and is often seen to be a danger to many in the Western world. It turns out that there may be rather a lot of risk to those on the inside as well. It's believed that North Korea has a whole network of prison camps which may contain as many as 200,000 prisoners, and these camps are likened to concentration camps, believed to be in contravention to international human rights laws. But since information about the camps is limited, and it's unlikely to welcome any kind of inspection from the United Nations, these conditions are just likely to continue. Some of the information that has been dispensed by those who say that they've survived the camps includes the fact that about a quarter of inmates perish every year. Inmates are only fed gruel that's made of cornmeal and cabbage, and so many resort to eating rats and insects in order to survive. They're forced to work in all conditions, and many prisoners have lost fingers and toes to frostbite. Terror and torture are commonplace, and any attempt to escape 
results in execution. The fear of being sent to these prison camps is one of the ways that it's believed the North Korean government keeps control of the people, and although they do deny the existence of such places, the camps have been seen on satellite imagery and they seem to be growing in number. Number 5. ADX Florence Supermax Prison, USA ADX Florence was built in 1994, south of Florence, Colorado. This is the most secure prison in all of the United States and is one of the infamous Supermax institutions. Spread across 37 acres of land, this prison has a capacity of 490, and these inmates are generally the ones who are considered too dangerous or even high profile to be put in any old regular jail. 95% of prisoners in Florence have been transferred from other facilities because of violent behavior. The conditions in this place are tough, the inmates are locked down in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day, and when they are allowed out of their cells, it's only to spend one hour in a bigger cell which has a skylight for a window so that they can't see where they are. The rules here are so strict that for at least the first three years of incarceration, prisoners are not even allowed contact with each other at all. They will not meet anywhere on the premises, and over time, so-called good behavior will earn them the right to be more outside and possibly even transfer to a less secure place. The idea of this place seems to be to keep inmates more or less completely isolated and under lock and key in a small cell for the majority of their sentence. The use of sensory deprivation and solitude can have damaging and lasting effects on humans and is considered by many to be a disgrace to human rights. As the most secure penitentiary in the whole country, you can imagine that there are some well-known individuals housed here. Number 4. Caranduru Penitentiary, Brazil there are so many prisons that seem to be in this competition to be known as the worst in the modern world, and here's another one. This time we're in Brazil, and this place was built following the introduction of a new criminal code in the legal system in 1890. In the decades that would follow, the prison became insanely overcrowded and completely unmanageable, and at the peak of overcrowding, the prison had 8,000 prisoners and 1,000 prison officers, but it was totally overrun by the inmates who ran things for themselves. Gangs ruled the entire place, disease and injury were everywhere, and there was almost no provisions for medical care. The majority of the inmates were malnourished and also suffering from HIV and many other transmissible diseases as well. Medical staff were actually too frightened to even enter the premises for the fear of dreadful violence and danger that awaited them inside. So, the inmates simply suffered and then perished. In 1992, a massive riot would break out, and the prison couldn't handle the situation, so military police would be sent in. They ended up killing 111 prisoners, many of whom were executed after they had surrendered. This would cause a huge scandal that finally led to the closure and demolition of the prison in 2002. Number 3. Tadmer Prison, Syria Located in the desert of eastern Syria, this prison was one of the most notorious and desperate places on earth. Known for the extensive abuse of human rights and horrific conditions, the prison was called a source of despair, torture, and degrading treatment by Amnesty International in 2001. The prison systematically used torture and summary executions. That's an execution that immediately follows an accusation of a crime without any investigation or trial. It was built in the 1930s, about 125 miles to the northeast of Damascus by the French, but its terrible reputation was earned after 1971 when thousands of political dissidents were sent there to face torture and execution. It wasn't really a prison in the truest sense of the word, because those that were incarcerated there had no rights whatsoever and could be killed at any moment. In most places, this is not how a prison is allowed to run. Inside the prison, inmates were not allowed to have any eye contact either with each other or with the guards. They were kept under constant surveillance, and new arrivals were subjected to hours of torture in the so-called reception party. Those that were not executed and didn't die under torture may have spent a handful of years in the prison. Some survived as long as 20 horrific years, and there was also a massacre in the prison in 1980. And beyond that, there seems to be very little accurate information, and nobody even knows exactly how many were killed. Amnesty International reports that it was between 500 and 1,000 inmates, and their bodies were dumped in a mass grave outside the prison walls. 
Number 2. Rikers Island New York City's main jail complex, Rikers Island, is infamously violent and dysfunctional. These days, though, it's also in the grip of a staffing crisis, and that's only deepening its existing problems. They're so short-staffed that the inmates essentially run amok on an almost daily basis. In fact, much like the problems within some of the South American prisons that we've seen, there are whole units within Rikers Island complex that have been more or less taken over by inmates. They decide who can enter, who can leave, and who can have free run of the areas that were formerly restricted. The violence that generally accompanies such stuff is also increasing. Although they've not yet armed themselves with semi-automatic weapons, the inmates have been involved in more violence in general, with slashings and beatings now commonplace. If this sounds a little too lawless for your ideas of a prison environment, well, it is. But without staff and with the crumbling infrastructure of aging buildings, there's not much else that can be done. Number 1. El Rodeo, Venezuela Venezuela is not faring tremendously well in our rundown of bad prisons now, is it? This is El Rodeo, near Caracas, and it's a seething pit of horror. Characterized by violence and overcrowding, like all the prisons in this troubled country, El Rodeo was in the headlines back in 2011 for the worst of reasons. This is the trouble with letting the inmates run things and have access to all those weapons, you know. A riot broke out after a massive altercation between two rival gangs inside of the prison, and they had armed themselves, and a fierce battle ensued between them and the authorities who were trying to take back control of the facility. It all went to hell in a handcart, as you would likely expect. Many of the prisoners were killed in the process, and the authorities were forced to begin evacuating the prisoners and moving them to an alternative facility. It was a proper mess and did nothing to improve the conditions of the prison system in Venezuela during that era. Well, fingers crossed that all your reprobates stay out of the clink. But if you had to go to one of these prisons, which one would you choose? I know it's a terrible question, but go on and sling an answer in the comment section down below. I want to know all of your warped ideas. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.